Welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's talk about interpolation and property binding in Angular. I have added some HTML code in the app component where I am displaying the channel title, subtitle, logo, and a button to subscribe. If you look at the HTML code, I'm using bootstrap classes and hard-coded text. I have added logo to the assets folder and provided the path to the source attribute of the image element. Finally, we have a button here to subscribe. This class is also coming from Bootstrap. If you haven't watched my video on how to add Bootstrap to Angular component, please go through my Angular playlist and watch it. Here I have hard-coded the data. Ideally, this data might be coming from a network call and we store the data in variables. So let's create the variables first. Go to TS file. Let me update this title variable to interview pro. Create another variable called subtitle. Let me copy the text from here. And finally, another variable for logo path. So I'm naming it as logo source and I'll copy the path from here. Let's use these variables and remove the hard-coded text. In order to use these variables, wrap the variable with double curly braces. This is called interpolation. Let me repeat the same for subtitle. and logo as well. Logo, SRC, and since this is a attribute, put it inside double quotes. Let's save this, go back to the UI and refresh just to make sure we have the updated code, we still see the same UI. In this case, the data is coming from variables. Usually, when it comes to attributes, we do not use interpolation. We wrap this attribute inside square brackets and just assign the variable name. This process is called property binding. We are binding a property called logo SRC to an attribute SRC. Let's save the changes and go back to UI. Let me just refresh and we still see the image. But this, in this case, we are not using interpolation. It is coming from property binding. Let's see another example of property binding. We have a button here. I want to enable or disable this button based on the value of a property. So let me create a property first. I'll name this property as should disable. This property is of type boolean. So I'll take this variable and Let's bind this attribute disable to should disable. Let's save this, go back to UI. Now we see this button disabled. If we make this property value as false, save the changes, we see the button enabled. For example, instead of having individual variables, let us assume there is an object called channel which contains all these details in the form of an object. So let me just copy paste these. But these are not variables, these are properties. So replace equal to with a colon. Save the changes. Now, uh, let me just comment them. Instead of title, now it would be channel dot title because this property is inside the object channel. 
Let me do the same for all the variables. Should be disabled is still a variable outside this object, so there won't be any change to this. Let's save them and go back to the UI. We still see the same UI. This is interpolation and property binding in Angular. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.